especially the official opposition. People will want your opinion, and it matters more, frankly, on a wide range of issues. For example, someone might say, Thomas Mulcair, should the U.S. release pictures of Osama bin Laden, as many are demanding? What would you say? I don't think, that, from what I've heard, that those pictures exist, and if they do, I'll leave that up to the American military. I do know that... You don't think those pictures so exist? No, I don't think that they, if, they, if they've got pictures of a cadaver, then uh, the, there's probably more going on than, than we suspect in what happened there. On the other hand, if they do have them and they don't release them, I think that they're probably doing it in, this, in, in the most decent way. I think that if there is something that went on there, it requires a full analysis, and we have to understand whether or not there was an action, whether it was an, an action in self-defense or whether it was something that was more in, in the style of a, of a direct killing, and that has to do with American law and uh, international law as well. Uh, and because there's now news that the question was Osama bin Laden reaching for his weapon or was he just shot? There's, you're, you're talking about that, but just so I understand this clearly. Well, the, it, they would require more than a picture in that case, Evan. You'd need a movie of the whole thing, and I don't think you're going to get that either. But, but just so I understand that, when you say you don't think the pictures exist, people want to see, just explain exactly why you think there might not be pictures of the cadaver of, and the body of Osama bin Laden. Well, I guess you'd have to, it's very difficult to explain a negative proposition. You're affirming that they do exist. If the, if the Americans say that such things do exist, then it'll be up to them to release them. I only I infer because they say they won't release a photo. That implies that they have a photo. Possibly. I, I, I you know, I, I don't honestly believe that it's germane. I think that if the Americans have taken pictures in that circumstance, they won't be able to prove very much as to whether or not Mr. Obama was indeed at one point holding a weapon. I don't think that we're going to get very far with this debate on that, on that score. Thomas Mulcair, uh, NDP MP, we look forward to having you back here in Ottawa, and you're dragging a whole lot of new friends with you, Mr. Mulcair. We look forward to it. Thank you, Evan. Always